But not only did the Delaware Horse Racing Commission give her a slap on the wrist by not giving her any misdemeanors, any felonies, none of that, they later reduced it, bitch, I'm not even, I can't even make this up. They literally reduced it to a 60 day suspension. So homegirl's already out here getting back into the horse racing industry as we speak. If that is not one of the most depressing things you've ever heard in your life, I don't know what is. Oh my god. Hey bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I absolutely fucking hate. It's been a long time coming, and I have personally put off talking about Amber Cobb and her whole animal abuse issue that's been going on for the last several months just because I have been interested in seeing how this whole thing is going to play out with the Delaware Racehorse Association and Commission. Yeah, bitch, I fucking called it because I literally knew that they were not going to do anything to her, that it was going to end up being a slap on the wrist, and that's why we're here. Get your motherfucking attitude, please! Get Why does this woman have horses? Matter of fact, why is this woman still walking free? Why is she not in jail when this is literally a felony under Delaware animal cruelty laws? Ugh, mind blowing. But anyway, guys, before we get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to the only company that's going to sponsor these videos, which is my own. So thank you so much to Link Equestrian for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know, we just released our perspective collection, which is change your perspective on how horses should be treated, which actually I think this is the perfect video for this collection because honestly, this represents animals being treated equally and everybody loves their dogs everybody loves their cats they treat them like their family they live in their house they treat them with a lot more respect than how general horses and livestock are treated so this collection just represents changing your perspective on how you perceive other animals that are not dogs and cats and treating them as if you would your dogs and your cats that live in your house if you guys would like to pick them up we also have them in t-shirts as well to change your perspective so those links will be down below as well as we do have uh the horse racing hoodies which a lot of people love which also tie into this video as well but let's talk about it <laughs> amber 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 dude sometimes i wonder if the horse racing industry could get any worse. <laughs> They're exposed on a regular basis for openly killing and abusing horses on racetracks, at least the American Horse Racing Association is, and very abusive training practices, illegal drugs, sending horses to slaughter. The horse racing industry is also known for giving abusive horse trainers a slap on the wrist and letting them just continue training. The only reason why Amber Cobb has been disciplined is because of public outrage. The horse racing industry didn't give a fuck about Amber Cobb abusing horses her entire career until someone exposed her and then they only took action to save their asses because there was so much public outrage behind this video. And if you haven't seen the video, it was released back in February of a prominent racehorse trainer named Amber Cobb abusing a filly in her stall basically tied the filly up, was beating it repeatedly with a rake, and was screaming and yelling profanities at it because she's just a bitch. I mean, who does this? What? Huh? You got a problem with fucking being cat? I wish you would. Go ahead. Go ahead. Show me 
what are you trying to accomplish here? This is the thing I never understand when I see people beat horses and scream at horses. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? The logic does not make sense to me. It just does not register in my brain. The stupidity in this video is so profound, it's hard to make sense of it. <laughs> She gonna kill us. You gotta take Kathy. Come on, pick it up, this bitch. Come on. Be careful. Be careful. Essentially, what happened is Amber Cobb was exposed with this video back in February 2021 of her just blatantly abusing this horse in the stall. The horse flips over, obviously, because the horse is terrified. The horse has nowhere to go and is tied up to the wall, and Amber is screaming and beating it. Mind you, this horse is only a few years old. I mean, guys, the racing industry is barely any better than the big lick industry, which every Every single equestrian in the world has a problem with the big lick industry, but for some reason people still try to defend the racing industry, and the racing industry is not only responsible for so many horrible things and so many terrible treatments towards horses, but on top of that, when people abuse horses in the industry, most of the time they don't even get penalized for it, and when they do get penalized, it's only because of public outrage that forces the racing industry to do so and basically when Amber Cobb was originally penalized for this once the video was released in February the Delaware Horse Racing Commission basically gave her in my opinion a slap on the wrist by suspending her for two years when under Delaware Code Title II Crimes and Criminal Procedure 1325 Cruelty to Animals it is a class A misdemeanor and in some some cases a class F felony Amber literally should have gone to jail for either multiple misdemeanors of animal cruelty in my opinion I think she should have gone to prison with felonies because this is so terrible and you know that she's done this to so many other horses in the industry that she's trained Amber Cobb has been training horses publicly since 2013, so this means that she has had the opportunity to openly abuse horses professionally for the last eight years. Not to mention that there are five separate horses that were under her care and training that have been killed on racetracks across the U.S. since she began training racehorses professionally. And one thing that's very interesting is two of the racehorses that died under her care while racing died because they flipped over out of fear and they fell and hit their heads and had to be euthanized. Actually, I think one of them was not euthanized, but you get my point. It seems a little suspicious to me that in this video, she's caught openly abusing and beating a horse in a stall to the point where the horse gets so scared, it flips over and falls on itself and almost gets tangled up and chokes itself out in its halter. And then she has two other horses that publicly died the exact same way that this horse got tangled up because Amber has been abusing all these horses. I would not be surprised. This is definitely not the first horse that she has abused. So I would be willing to bet that all these other horses under her care were also abused. And the two horses that died, died the exact same way that this horse just got almost severely injured and tangled up in its stall while Amber was abusing it. But not only did the Delaware Horse Racing Commission give her a slap on the wrist by not giving her any misdemeanors, any felonies, none of that, they later reduced it, bitch, I'm not even, I can't even make this up. They literally reduced it to a 60 day suspension. So homegirls already out here getting back into the horse racing industry as we speak. If that is not one of the most depressing things you've ever heard in your life, I don't know what is.
It's like the horse racing industry doesn't care how badly they look. Because if they did care, they would have given her the maximum punishment possible and been like, no, you will never return to this industry. You will never train horses professionally. You will never even be around horses. We're going to give you multiple animal cruelty charges and you will never be allowed to touch horses again. I cannot even tell you not only how detrimental this is to this animal's physical health, but also emotional health that she's tormenting these babies this way at such a young age and she's just screaming violently at them. I mean, you can see how terrorized this horse is by her and how abused this horse is. This is not the first time she's treated this horse this way and it's not the first time that she's treated any horse this way. Matter of fact, again, she's literally killed horses by treating them the exact same way. Furthermore, I think it's important to note that multiple other trainers have come out and spoke out about abuse that they witnessed by Amber Cobb to horses under her care. At the beginning of the 2021 Delaware Park meet, Whitaker recalled a horse, a bay colt, who was being taught to use the automatic walker, the horse broke loose and ran around the Delaware Park property for an extended period of time. When they finally caught him, the overwrought horse didn't want to go back into his stall. Whitaker testified that Cobb beat the horse in the head with a chain and shank to get the horse back in its stall, and also said that Cobb told her to withhold feed from the horse for four days afterwards. Oh my god. Like, why is this woman not in jail for animal cruelty? It is mind-boggling to me that no authorities have contacted her and that the Horse Racing Association is just not gonna do shit. They don't care. Amber has even been caught for, you know, drugging horses and having suspicious uh, syringes on hand, etc, etc. So she's just not a good person. Nevertheless, though, Amber has received a ton of backlash, even to the point where her website, cobracing.us, which is where she advertised all of her race training and if you can even call it that, whatever. Basically where she just sucks her dick about being such a great phenomenal person and trainer and why you should send your horse to her to be physically and emotionally abused. That type of stuff, you know? And since this whole shabacle came out, it was removed. So her website's not up. She doesn't have any social medias or profiles anymore. And she's not openly training anymore publicly. However, all of this stuff is just gonna blow over in just a few months and she's gonna start professionally training horses again because the Race Horse Association doesn't care. Why is the horse racing industry still legal? If you guys want to promote to the public that you care about animals and you care about the horses in your industry, then maybe you should start reprimanding people who violate all your policies. Maybe you should start reprimanding people and penalizing them who are caught drugging horses or withholding feed from horses or working them too hard. Maybe you should improve the living conditions of animals and the afterlife of them once they leave the racing industry. Maybe you should actually call authorities and report abusive trainers to authorities for animal abuse to be criminally charged. Maybe you guys should actually start caring about the horses in your industry if you want people to think that you care about the horses in your industry. That's basically all I have to say about Amber Cobb. She's like the worst person I've ever seen. She is one of the worst horse trainers I've ever seen, if you can even call her that. She never deserves to be around animals again, and I I think she needs to be criminally charged and I think she should never be allowed to own animals ever again. It's insane. Anyway guys, if you want to report Amber Cobb to the Delaware Horse Racing Commission and tell them to not let her back in the sport, I will link their website down below because somebody needs to speak out about this, which is why I'm making this video. So thank you so much for watching this video and enjoying my rant. I'm sorry this video came out a day later, but I uh, changed the topic for the video last minute because I found out about the change in her suspension from two years to 60 fucking days, which is just insane to me. So again, a massive thank you to Link Equestrian. If you want to check out that link, it is below, as well as the Contact Delaware Horse Racing Commission. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video on Saturday. Have a good day. Bye.